onto the Esperanto. Oh, it looks like I got a friend request. I will add all of the friends. Um, we are past the second checkpoint now, so we're getting into the third here. Um, last week we started with family, um, and if you remember, we were looking at um, modifiers for um, like brother versus sister versus both gender siblings or you know both gender types of parents. Bona matin on, bonne kaivi. Nice to see you again. Um, so we're going to go back through family and then we'll get in, uh, we'll do some objects. I think today we'll get through family, we'll get through objects and then maybe, maybe through home. I don't know if we're going to get three done today, but we'll see. It's been, uh, since I got the affiliate, my Twitter has been a lot more active and, uh, I've been seeing a lot more, uh, Esperanto people chatting with me on Twitter and talking to me on Twitter and stuff, which is pretty cool. So it's nice to see that I'm like, I'm making the rounds. <laughs> um, that feels nice. <laughs> I think somebody told me that they uh, were recommended by uh, a polyglot on uh, YouTube, which was pretty cool. So nice to see that the tags and stuff work. Uh, man, it's a hell of a sentence to start on, huh? No audio, no nothing. <laughs> I just throw throw me right into it, huh? Uh, li tractus. I don't think we've used. So these are new words that we haven't seen yet. Tractus. Um, treat. Does treat or does handle? Okay, so not, I'm thinking like a dog treat, like you're treating a dog. <laughs> um, but this says he treats his own, right? Because we have the n here. His own mother-in-law like his own like his own mother right <laughs> yeah you're always eating um anytime i stream you're either you're ma you're either you're making breakfast lunch or dinner it's ne <laughs> it's never always been the same meal either it's always different food <laughs> Uh, so Li Trinkas, uh, so he treats his mother-in-law like his own mother. So propran, propran, propran here, um, is always going to indicate that it belongs to that person, right? And so does, but I feel like, um, Cian kind of, is that already, right? Doesn't this already indicate that, like, their own? So what's the point, really, in, uh, in Proker? Maybe we'll see as we go. Oh, I wonder if there's a good discussion on it. I always forget about these two. Ah, here we go. Why do we need to use it? So CN doesn't mean his own, it just means his. I mean that, yeah. Oh, so this is just a, well, of course, Sal, um, Sal here would have the answer if anybody does, right? But, so, I was wrong. I thought CN meant his own in the same way that Ropran did. But it looks like one of these is more like his object, where, where one is more, like, endearing. Like, he treats something as if it was his own. Versus it actually being his own. Maybe. Mia Familo. He likes his friend versus he likes. Huh. So one is really belonging to, like, f like physically in the possession of, like, this person really belong, like, belongs to the, or this person, or this object belongs to this person. Okay. Yeah, because see, I was, uh, I know it... Propra is just more emphasis. I was trying to think of it more like, um, like he treats 
you know, they were saying he treats his mom or treats his mother-in-law like his own mom. And it's like, well, it's not actually his mom, but he's treating her like his own mom. So it's kind of, I was thinking it's more like it doesn't, not something that physically belongs to you because I'd be seeing, but, um, yeah, I don't know what the oh, shit, <laughs> this is too, this is too early for this. Um, yeah, I want to say emphasis. I don't want to say formal. I don't want to say emphatic. It's just a different connotation, I guess. Uh, so Mia Familo, uh, what is this? Pachiao? Pachiao? Yeah. Sia is definitely more, uh, grammar. Whereas, like, Propran is like, yeah, you're only going to use that when you really need it. You're going to use Sia all the time. Uh, Pañol. So we have Pachio, because that should be the C-H noise, right? P-A-C-H-Y-O, Pachio. Uh, Pañol, dad and mom, me, and Le Bebo. So my family is... Um, dad, mom, me, and that baby, and the baby, la bebo. You like those? I, uh, I was just, I was thinking that when I was looking at the patio, uh, I was like, that is a, unlike many other, de mia frato, estas mia bofratino. unlike other Esperanto words, even though all Esperanto words are or all of Esperanto characters are pronounced the same all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, like, coming across sound combinations. New ones. Uh, la edzino de mia fratro estas mia bofratino. I said fratro, and it's just frato. La edzino de mia frato estas mia bofratino. La edzino de mia frato Estas mi bofratino. Bofratino. Sister-in-law. So, I know, we know as a sister, frat is, this is, is uh, a sibling. So, bo, is bo indicator of, like, an in-law? My husband? My brother's wife. Bo is just in-laws? Very nice. I was going to say wife-in-law. Um, so we have, so uh, just a brother-in-law would just be uh, bro, Bofrato. My uh, brother's wife is my sister-in-law. Mia cousino estas la filino de mia onclino. I, I want that to be Brofrato. <laughs> Like a, like a brother instead of a bow. <laughs> a, mother, a mother in bow? Or a brother in bow? Uh, mia cousino. Mia cousino estas la filino de mia onclino. Sounds just like cousin, doesn't it? Cousino. So mia cousino, my cousin, female cousin, because we have I and Estas la felino. She's the daughter of my aunt. So onclino. Ooh, that's cool word. Um, so uncle there would not have the I and O, and we would end in O instead. So that would be, what, un uncle? For uncle? Brofrato is your brother-in-law wearing a bolo. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah not, a, not a bolo, a polo. <laughs> you can't wear a, well, I guess you could wear both. You could wear a polo shirt with a bolo tie. That would be pretty fancy. Mia cousino estas la filino de mia onclino. Is the daughter of my aunt. Aunt. Li estas mia nevo. Li estas mia nevo. Ah, nephew, huh? So if we have a niece, it'll be nevino. He is my nephew. Where a Yolo Polo? <laughs> Wearing a yellow polo for his bolo. 
<laughs> uh, Daddy, where is mommy? Um, don't teach my son to say this. <laughs> I don't need to hear it in English and Esperanto. <laughs> uh, Pachiao? Uh, ¿Qui está español? La edzo de mia fratino estas mia bofrato. La edzo, the husband of my sister. My sister's husband. Is my brother-in-law. Mi ama español. Mi ama español? Does that say I love my mom? I love mommy. Uh, do you think anybody's redone that Family Guy skit with uh, this instead? Just go, Peño, 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 Peño. <laughs> Mi visitas mi ambo patron. Uh, I visit my father. No. Yes, father in law. Bo patron. Patron is father. La patrino? De mi uh, Edzo? Estas mia Bo Patrino? Bo Patrino? Bo Patrino. Not Bo Patrino. I wanted to have so many more R's. Um, so the. Oh, okay. So we have pre Patrino for mother, and then we have. Panyo is more like mom or mommy, yeah? Um, so the mother of my husband... Oh, well, my... I didn't know if they were going to have an apostrophe S somewhere down here in the word bank. Uh, the mother of my husband is my mother-in-law. Bo Patrino. Yeah, it makes la a. La bebon. It makes it a lot easier to have the male female modifiers and just have a root word for everything. So you have like brother or a girl brother or a sister. You have like your uncle and then you have your uncle female, which is your aunt. <laughs> it's a lot easier than having independent words for all of them. But similar to uh, if you speak Spanish already you know there's like tia versus tio and um so that should be pretty pretty similar la onclinoi regardas la bebon la onclinoi regardas they are looking the bebon the baby at the bebo yeah spanish is a little bit more gender balanced but, I mean, more gender balanced than that, but less gender balanced in terms of, like, what computers are female, cars are, cars are male? No, cars are female? I don't know. But, like, that's what gets me in Spanish, is if you don't know the vocabulary for something already, you may not know whether it's um, male or female. So you have to memorize the genders. Yeah, memorize the genders of everything. I mean, there's, like, categories, which helps, but... Uh, he treats his mother-in-law like his own mother. Uh, so this right here, NJ, is not a word, right? So, li tractas, he treats, sian, bopatrinon, he treats his mother-in-law like his own mother. La gepatroi de mia edzo estas miai bogepatroi. Lia, la gepatroi la, de mia edzo estas miai bogepatroi. La gepatroi de mia, so my parents, no wait, the parents of my husband are my, in, so this is both genders in-laws, right? So we have in-law, bo, we have ge, both genders, so we have in-law, both genders, parents. And then we have the J, so it's plural. The parents. Uh, 
Oh, parents-in-law, I guess? We don't really have that, do we? We just say mother-in-law or father-in-law or my in-laws. Cutesy and affectionate. Oh, okay. So... That'd be the same uh, as, uh, you know, if your name is, what, Ashley, somebody calling you, like, Ash or something? It's just like a... Does that indicate that it's, like, a nickname? Or does that just indicate that it's, uh... Oh, my hair is driving me crazy. Um, that you're, like, more informal. Me ne havas onkloin en mia familio. Me ne havas onkloin? Me ne havas onkloin en mia familio. I do not have uncles in my family. Okay. Pilhomo? Oh my gosh. That's super cute. So... Yeah, roughly, yeah. Uh, just gonna go around converting everybody's names now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, one more lesson here for family. Gemeloi havas la samain gepatroin. Gemeloi. Gemeloi havas la samain gepatroin. Gemeloi, or twins, have the same parents? Chuvi uh, du estas paro. Oh, a pair or a couple? Okay. So, do you... Or are you to a couple? Are you going steady? Chuvi havas prage avoin? Chuvi havas what? Chuvi havas prage avoin? So, avo is grandparents, is multiple grandparents. AGE here is great, right? Chuvi havas prage avoin? Chuvi havas pra... Chuvi havas prage avoin? Prage avoin. No. Chuvi havas prage avoin? Yeah, prage avoin. Ew. I butchered that. Oh, shit. That wasn't great. Oh, I have seen that. Um, that was, a uh, we made... A couple of different types of pasta when I was in culinary school, and that wasn't one of them, but it is one of the ones we needed to know. <laughs> uh, good looking out. I was thinking um, Gemini, like the zodiac. Uh, Vini Pezonas. You don't need Zorgi? Oh my god. I need a Corgi, and I'm named him Zorgi. Yeah, I think it's the second one, Gem Gemini. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to worry about me. Vine Bezonas. Zorgi Primi. Mia Pravino Venas el Rusio. Mia Pravino. Mia Pravino Venas pra el Rusio. Mia Pravino. Pravino. Mia Pravino. Oh man, I cannot do those short R's. I cannot do the short rolled R's. <laughs> Sorgen? Is that a. Uh, is that to worry in German? Like the the eye of Sorgon? <laughs> of Sorgon? <laughs> Mia Pravino venas el Rusio. Uh, <laughs> my great grandmother comes from Russia. Our great-grandmother is the mother of our grandfather. So, our great-grandmother, Ra'avino, because this one is parents-in-law. Ha! That's pretty awesome. Zorgu. You don't want to get your Zorgs in a bunch, you know? Uh, the children, la, inf la infanoi, estas cheerful. Uh, 
Gay guy? Gay guy? Because it's oh, because it's snowing. I was thinking to yeah. Uh, la du, la du, pero estas. Yeah, amigo. So this is both genders of friends. So the two, the two pairs are friends, or the two couples are friends. Sofia, Kaishia, Edzino. Sofia and her husband. No, her wife, right? Yes. Sofia and her wife work in the same office. In La Sama Afetsejo. Let's say yo. Mia praavo venas el chinio. Mia praavo venas al chin. This is China, right? Yeah. So this is my great grandfather. Comes from China. Venas al chino. Mia praavo venas el chinio. Chinio. Uh, Chuvi Konas, do you know my grand great grandfather? Sophia and her wife in this one again. So Sophia Kaishia Edzino. Uh, here they laboras. Here this says Verino. Just Sophia and her wife woman. Are in the same office. This one says they work in the same office. Do you have a great a great grandmother? You to you Gaia? Is it Gaia and Gaia? It's gonna be Gaia, right? Um so that cheerful woman eats chocolate with her husband. So that, right? Because we have to you with the you at the end. Um, that cheerful woman is eating. This is chocolate. Chocolate on. Un. Zia Enzo. Gaia. I was thinking it would be more like Gaia. Um, but G, it's G-O that makes more of the G-A-Y noise. Chuvi havas prageavoin? Uh, chuvi havas, do you have? Pra... Age... Pra... <laughs> I cannot say that. Chuvi havas prageavoin? Prageavoin. Prageavoin. Oh, gay is actually in, in, um, Esperanto as well, yeah? Gaia... As in gay happy, gay with like Saya. Okay, so Gaia is almost more like um, like that, almost like an I more than it is a Y, because I've always think of, of reading the J's as Y's, but here it's almost more like an I. Yeah, you can you can be both happy and homosexual at the same time. It's, be it's best if you can be both instead of just one. <laughs> well, if you're going to be gay, I hope you're cheerful too. <laughs> Could be a hard road. Man, so many ads. So many ads. All right, finally family. Way to go. I don't think we're going to do family again. I want to do objects. Families are boring. <laughs> I deal with enough family in my day to day. Let's do something else. A wristwatch. Sheriff Mongo will like this one. Uh, well, he likes watches, but I do not like this word. Lia. Brak Horlojo Havas Ekranon Kai Pomon. Brak Horlojo? Lia Brakhorlojo Havas Ekranon? Ekranon? 
Lia brak horlojo havas ekranon kaj pomon. Arm clock, huh? Is a horlogo a uh, watch, like a clock? Braco is your arm. It sounds like you're breaking a clock. <laughs> it looks like it says that you're like breaking arms. Uh, yeah, Lia, Lia brak horlojo havas ekranon kai pomon. Lia brak horlojo havas ekranon kai pomon. Hmm. So his his Apple Watch, <laughs> his uh, oh, I guess just watch. I was looking for wrist. His watch has a screen and an apple. Oh, it is an Apple Watch. I was making a joke. <laughs> Mi searchas mian posh telefonon. Mi searchas. I am looking for so to search. Mi searchas mian. Post telefonon. So we have telefonon, which is just a phone, and pos. I wonder if that means mobile. Mi searchas mian post telefonon. I'm gonna use this sentence probably all the time, right? Mi searchas mian post telefonon. I think they meant the logo too, but because of the way we use this. Or use Duolingo, we've only ever seen Apple as in, uh, as in food. But you know what? I wonder, wouldn't it need to be capitalized at that point? Because if you're talking about the logo? Ankaŭ brak horlojoj estas horlojoj. Or no, because they don't capitalize their own, do they? Ankaŭ. Um, also, watches are clocks. The watches are clocks too. Anka brak horlojoj estas horlojoj. Man, that's a hella hella sentence. <laughs> Anka brak horlojoj estas horlojoj. Brak horlojoj estas horlojoj. Yeah, a picture of an apple. Yeah, or a logo of an apple. Because otherwise, it sounds like his watch has a screen and then like an apple sitting on top of it, <laughs> like a. Oh, a little picture, yeah. That's a that's a good one. Uh, I guess there's no uh, there's no quick Esperanto vocabulary for clip art. <laughs> uh, where are my glasses? Oh, Luvik. I was hoping that they were going to run me into a sentence where they would say that, but... Batterioi, right? Batterioi, vibezonas. Um, does it say where are the battery, right? Or how many batteries do you need? Um, so that telephone or that phone, mobile phone. Vitro is glass, huh? I assumed that um, Oculo was because it's almost like um, oculars, like eyes. Who manjas horlojoin? Who? I'm sorry, who's eating clocks? Or what eats clocks? Who eats clocks? Uh, what? <laughs> Duolingo. <laughs> of course, look at the discussion on this 78. Hi, Alina. Welcome. Saluta. The, oh, that was a muzzy joke? 
I've I've I know of Muzzy. I watched it when I was a, a young kid, but I didn't remember them eating clocks. This is time consuming. <laughs> uh, well played, man. Look at some of the languages these people have got. Oh, well, here it is. Somebody's talking about the the Mozzies. You can, so you can, uh, the good answer is actually, you can actually say the big, uh, the big mozzy. That is hilarious. I love Esperanto. Look, this I mean, I guess Libra in sur ekran, no? <laughs> Oh my god, that's too funny. I'm glad you guys were here, because that would have gone just over my head, and I would have been like, I don't know, shit Duolingo says. <laughs> I mean, I guess Libra in sur ekran, no? Uh, I don't read books with right or on i don't read books on screens read books on screens i definitely do i read hundreds of books on screens la infano volas compreni la horlogion. uh so the child volas he wants to understand the clock Uh, how many batteries do you need? Kion? Yeah, the Bateroy? Vi bezonas? Mi bezonas baterion por mia brak horlojo. Mi bezonas baterion. No, baterion. Mi bezonas baterion por mia brak horlojo. Baterion por mia brak horlojo. Um, so I need, right? Is that what that is? Yeah. I need batteries, or I need a battery for my wristwatch. Mi bezonas baterion por mia bracorlojo. Ooh, these R's are getting me, man. Telefono havas ekrano. <laughs> there's, there's so many in sentences now. Uh, mia post telefono. Push, poste, push. Mia post telefono havas ekranon. Mia post telefono. So P O S H almost right because we've got the little hat there. Mia push telefono. My mobile phone has a screen. I will never get rid of all of my actual books. I have a large bookshelf full of them, and then overflowing onto other bookshelves now. But um, it is so much more convenient to just be able to like pull up my phone. You know, if I'm waiting at a doctor's office or you know. And it's easier to just pull out my phone and read for a couple of minutes. Like, I read books on my phone. Like, some people look at Twitter or Reddit, you know, or they just, like, load it up and they'll read for a minute or two or something like that. And then, you know, I'm like, I'll read, like, a page or two or three of a book and then put it down. <laughs> Posho is pocket. I haven't seen that yet. Have I? Talk about skirts with pockets. <laughs> Uh, push telefono is a, oh, it's a pocket phone. That get, that makes sense. I like that. That's cute. Put it into pocket. Uh, mine povas. I cannot find trovi. Hmm. Am I going to remember that? Trovi mian gazeton. I cannot find my magazine. Treasure trove? That's a good, uh, to, to find a treasure. That makes sense. Chuvi volas la keston. A chest? So, uh, speaking of treasure troves. Chuvi volas la keston? Au la corbon? Do you want a chest or a basket? Do you want the chest or the basket? Ooh. For the little puppies. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, and Esperillo also streams. There's also uh, a couple of other people that um, frequent the chat that uh, stream as well. He's not here this week, but um, sometimes you'll see worse speedruns. Um, I think he streams as well. And uh, for anybody that does, by all means, feel free to plug your, your stream in my chat. I don't mind. 
But you saw him in Berlin last week, huh? I saw him, uh, he actually joined our stream, was it last week or the week before, I think, and he was, he was talking about, uh, JES, and I was asking him what it was. Um... Creed, he did he stay at your house for JES or was he doing the the tra the passport? Um, is that Chutio? Chutio Chutio estas via propa umbrello umbrella, huh? Umbrello, I like it. Is that your umbrella? I'll say your own umbrella, because we have propa, propra in there, and we want a defensive duo to go our way. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it formally passporta, or is it just people jamming on each other's couches? <laughs> Sometimes it could be both. <laughs> Ooh. That is, that is terrible. Um, this is our... We just... This is our first year in this house, so I'm still uh, I'm still learning how to move all my furniture. <laughs> I have, and uh, this was never a problem until the winter. Um, Lando Sen... Lando? Oh, yeah, country. Country without computers? Hmm. Lando, Lando Sen Computiloi. Computiloi. You awkward? Never. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> that you'd be surprised. That happens to me a lot. Like I've I've run into him multiple times on the internet. Just out of he's you know. Well, I guess if you spend any time in the Esperanto group, you're gonna run across the same people over and over again, which is pretty fun actually. <laughs> you eat human food? <laughs> were you? Uh, were you? Um, Malgranda. <laughs> yeah, he is everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's raining, but I don't have an umbrella. Oh no. Sucks. Mi searchas bonan computilon. I'm searching for a good computer. Uh, I am look oh well looking for a good computer. I guess I can turn off uh... <laughs> all my like Steam notifications and stuff going off. <laughs> if you uh if you haven't started streaming Esperanto or in Esperanto already and you're going to um I was talking with uh, Sena Sperulo and some other people about maybe doing, we can do a, we should do a co-op Esperanto stream or something sometime. We'll, we'll sit around and play poker online or something and, um, or uh, I've got games like Legend of Zelda and stuff in Esperanto or we can, we can world, we can run our way around World of Warcraft in Esperanto or something like that. But it'd be fun to co-op play in, in that. Thank you for following, by the way. <laughs> now you'll get notifications all the time. <laughs> and some of them will be in Esperanto. <laughs> I'd love to co-op too. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And I mean, like, you never really get to, other than, like, gatherings and forums and stuff, you don't really get to use Esperanto, like, socially in the same way. So Twitch is fun for this. What is NASK? In the Corbo. Oh. Have we learned? Oh boy. I think we have. That's cool. Is that like um is it like a summer camp for Esperanto? <laughs> for learning Esperanto? Uh, in the basket, there are many eggs. In la corbo, estas murtai ovoi. Kio estas en tiu kesto? 
Kio estas en tiu kesto? Kesto? Kio estas en tiu kesto? Yeah. Uh, so what is in that basket? Or chest? No, chest. <laughs> Kesto is chest. Mi legas libron sur la ecrano de mia computilo. Ooh, I want to go to sleepaway camp for Esperanto. Um, I'm writing the book on the screen of my computer. Man, that was a lot of prepositions. Well, I guess it was two, but... Qui estas la gazeto? A week? Oh man, so cool. North Carolina, huh? Oh shit, the 50th anniversary? No way. That would be nuts. That would be a lot of fun. Qui estas la gazeto? So, have you been to San Esperula? Where's the magazine? Newspaper. Where's the newspaper? La lampon en la kesto li ne trovas. The lamp in the chest. He is not finding. Wow. The lamp in the chest he doesn't find. Are we using box here? Okay. He does not find the lamp. Oh, I used the too much. Whoops. All the cool people are going there. <laughs> you want to be one of the cool people, don't you? <laughs> Esperanto peer pressure. <laughs> so, <laughs> is it, uh, do you guys like, is it just like classes or is it like an immersion course? Do you get to uh, sleep in bunk beds and make s'mores? Does somebody shove you in a locker and fill it with whipped cream? <laughs> what, what do you expect when you go to that? Uh, <laughs> I cannot find my watch. So watch is Bracorlogo? Braco logo. So it's not this one. Uh, mine povas trovi. I cannot find my watch. La lampon en la my arm clock. Li ne trovas. Um, here is the one that we messed up here. He does not find the lamp in the box. That was not me. I did that. Oh, it's at a like a school school, huh? Yeah, that's a little different than like I assumed. Maybe you guys like rented. Uh, place? <laughs> Nobody talks about the whipped cream incidents. <laughs> when, uh, when I was in the service, there were quite a lot of, there was never, uh, nobody got shoved into a locker full of whipped cream, but there was a, there was quite a bit of other hazing things we did. Like, make people scan their boots for their safety toe, or their steel toe boots for cracks. And they had to wear garbage bags around their feet all day to uh, stop the radiation, which isn't at all true. <laughs> and you don't need to get your boots scanned. <laughs> uh, my car is a motor on four wheels. Is that wheels? Oh, like radials. Do you go to... So if... I imagine it's more scheduled than if there, there are classes. So are there, like, you have your 101 beginner level classes and then you have some other ones for more experienced Esperantists? Motoro? Motoro, sir. Kvar. Radoi? Radoi? Tiu ci rado funkcias bone. Funxius. No, that's a sweet word. Who wants to get Funxius? Uh, tu... funxias bone. Tu... Tu chirado funxias bone. Chirado. Chirado. Oh, chirra... Chirado. Chirado... Funxias bone? Tu chirado funxias bone. 
man. Uh, this wheel functions well. Chirado, oh man, I, that CI, this, this is a hard transition. Chirado functions bone. Chirado, Chirado. Do you say, are you, I mean like it's easier just to drag it out? I wouldn't say, but I feel like it. I feel like it'd sound like an idiot if I was like Chirado. <laughs> so I need to find like a. I need to find a natural, rolling point. Tu objecto estas machino. Tu objecto estas mas machino. Tu objecto estas machino. Tu objecto. Not objecto. Objecto estos machino. Tu objecto estas machino. Uh, the object is a machine, maybe? Yeah. Or that object. Hi there! Welcome to the stream, Christian. I do, uh, I do play Duolingo. I also play other games. Uh, I'm not always just doing Esperanto. Sometimes I'm, I'm playing... Normal games. <laughs> uh, those books are free. Oh, feel free to, yeah, um, you can absolutely post a link to the playlist or uh, if you've got any Esperanto um, resources or anything that I don't mind. Uh, these books are free of charge. Sen. Sen. Paj. Paj. Pajay? Pajay? Maybe we'll see it in a, a speaking one here soon. Yeah, Duolingo is fun. It's a, you can download the app if you have um, iOS or Android. And uh, then the, there's also the website on duolingo.com. So this looks, uh, my overlay is kind of crazy, but if you look at it, you can actually see it's just, <laughs> I'm just using the web browser on duolingo.com. <laughs> Um, he provas, he is trying. He provas trovi, so he's trying to find free computers. Oh, a friend, he's trying to find a free computer. Oh, I forgot is down here. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for uh, thanks for coming and hanging out and um, sharing those uh, resources and stuff. And definitely, if you're thinking about streaming in Esperanto, um, do it. It's a lot of fun, and um, the people that keep you company are totally worth it. <laughs> Plus, you're always learning. You know, sometimes it's fun to just learn all day. Uh, I'm reading Milejas about that object. Pritiu Objecto en la Gazeto. Gazeto is a newspaper. Rado would be here, would be a wheel. So that would say I'm reading about that object on the wheel. And I don't know what Leganta is. Milegas nur sen pagain gazetoin. If you can't do, if you don't have fast enough internet to do streaming, um, you can always start by doing pre-recorded on uh, YouTube too, and then uh, that'll at least help you get a following, and you'll help getting your um, graphics and all of that stuff together. And then uh, once you start live streaming on Twitch, you already have followers that you can bring over. I read only free newspapers. Oh, it's going to say it here. Milegas nur sen pagain gazetoin. Nur sen pagain. Milegas nur sen pagain gazetoin. Milegas nur sen pagain gazetoin. Mine laboras sen pagai. So we know that means free of charge. Uh, we mean we know this means I don't. So I don't labor free of charge. You know what that means? I do not work for free. I do not. <laughs> Ni devas shanji la radoin. Ni devas shanji. Ni devas shanji la radoin. Um, we have to change the wheels. Oop. 
So we have multiple wheels here because we have JN. Mia auto estas motoro sur radoi. Mia auto. My car. Estas mo motoro. Mia auto estas motoro sur. Is a motor on wheels. So last time we did this sentence, it said on four wheels. Um, now it's just a motor on wheels. You're streaming every day, Sin? That's quite a lot. Do you, uh, do you stream after your kid goes to sleep or um, what's your, your schedule like? Because I know that you're just watching me breakfast on Sunday mornings. <laughs> Uh, I do not work for free, okay? This is the one we just did. Mi ne labora senpage. Senpage? Senpage? Bonne? Senpage, yeah, because you have to say the E at the end. Chu chitio baterio de funcias? Chu chitio baterio de funcias? Chu chitio. I don't think I've seen that combination. Chu chitio. Bat baterio? Ne. Funcias? So this is asking if this battery doesn't work, right? Uh, does this battery not work, right? I was just, um... These are always, in the beginning, these questions are always hard to, like, direct translate for, word for word. I almost have to, like, translate it and then look in my word bank for how I'm going to get that, <laughs> how I'm going to get there. Um, so, la, mo la mot motoro de nia auto. Uh, so, the car of ours, our cars, or our car's motor. Wait, the motor of our car. Yes, our car's motor. Nefunxius doesn't work. Esperanto is a... Um, I started learning this language because uh, um, I've, I've always been interested in language, but the point in it is that it's you machino estas motoro. It's supposed to be really easy to pick up regardless of what language you speak natively. So the goal is, right, if everybody spent 30 or 60 days learning Esperanto, then everybody in the world would have a common language that they could speak that doesn't have a history of colonization or violence or... Um, you know, it, it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have thousands and thousands of native speakers, so you don't need to be nervous about mispronouncing so, mispronouncing something. But of course, I would mispronounce mispronouncing. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but I started it just because I I was like I'm gonna learn this. Yeah, I'm gonna learn this this language that also helps because. If you learn Esperanto, it makes it easier to learn other stuff. So, like, if I learn this and then I want to go learn Spanish or French or something else, it'll be a lot easier because I have so many um, connections from Esperanto already. And it's just fun. The community is great. Um, on Reddit and on Facebook and on Twitter and everything else, the people who speak Esperanto are, like, they just uh, have this culture of just knowledge sharing and like wanting to hang out all the time and like be besties and they want to like share resources and I've never met <laughs> I've never seen anybody say anything mean in Esperanto ever <laughs> like I've never seen it used to insult anybody I've never seen anybody go crazy keyboard warrior style <laughs> it is a pretty peaceful language uh estas motoro I mean, like, so we're pretty far in the Duolingo tree. There's there's a couple of checkpoints, and we're, what, halfway, a little over halfway through um, learning? And even now, the sentences that we're doing, if you don't speak Esperanto, but you heard this, you machino estas motoro. you'd be like, I don't know, it sounds like something about machines and motors. <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah, they're, they're, they're more, they're joking, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that machine is a motor. Li provas trovi. He is trying to find senpaja, sen, senpega, peja, 
cannot say this word. Uh, Senpagon? 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 Senpagon. Computilon. Parji? Senpaga? Paj Paja? Like Google, right? Senpag... Senpagan? Senpagan? Senpoga? <laughs> Pog? Senpaga? Sen Senpuega? <laughs> uh, Mono ne crescas sur arboy. I keep thinking like, I keep thinking like Saga. I remember Pogs. So Senpaga? Sen, sen, senpagan? Mono ne crescas sur arboy. Mono? Does not or does not grow. Oh, on trees. Arbor. Tree. Hmm, how can I remember this one? Crisecus. Does that look like anything that has to do with growing? To create, maybe? Money does not grow on trees. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm only halfway through. By the way, hello, Wer. Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, I was just talking about you a little bit ago. Somebody came by that was talking about maybe wanting to start Esperanto streaming. Um, and uh, we were talking about who in here streams. Thank you for following, Christian. Christian? What do you... Uh, where are you from? Are you... Uh, where are you from, and how did you uh, end up watching watching us learn Esperanto today? Arbo estas planto. Arbo estas planto. So a tree is a plant. Romanian. Very nice. Um, La arbo havas foliojn kaj radikojn. There's uh, there's quite a bit of uh, Romanian in Esperanto, if I remember correctly, because it is a uh, one of those romance languages, yeah? Just uh, just among the pages? La arbo havas foliojn kaj radikojn. Uh, the... La arbo... The arbo... La arbo havas foliojn? La arbo havas foliojn kaj radikojn. Radikojn. Fali... Folioin kai radikoin. So the tree has leaves, foliage, leaves and roots. Uh, well, I'm just gonna think of radicchio every time I see that. <laughs> you say it's a fake Latin language? I don't know that it is. I don't know what the Romanian and Latin root relationship is. I've thought about I've thought about Romanian being one of the languages I might learn on here eventually. Um, I see a lot of uh, people on Twitch from that country, or from Romania rather, or who speak Romanian. Uh, Nilojas, we live on La Tero. Ooh, we have the earth now, Tero. So, when we talk about this, you know, Tero, we were talking about terroir and um, wine a couple of weeks ago. We live on earth. I was gonna say on the earth, but it doesn't look. Oh, we have a law and no the. Duolingo, ruining la everything you taught me. Estas tre bella. The photo, la foto, estas tre bella. It's very beautiful. La foto estas tre bella. Plantoi vivas. Plantoi vivas. Plants see? Oh, no, plants leave. Plants live. 
or plants are alive. La folio flugas. La folio, the leaves, flugas, uh, fly. So the leaf, oh, it's just one. The one leaf flies, maybe hit by the wind. La radicoi estas bon gustai. La radicoi. So you said this was from radical? Hmm. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think of, cause this almost looks like wheel, right? Which is like, uh, radial. <laughs> yeah, of course I, I would relate it to something food related. <laughs> uh, so the roots are delicious. So this would be a good example if you want to eat radicchio. <laughs> the, the radicchio uh, radicoi. <laughs> uh, money does not grow on trees. So we have mono, mono ne crestas. Is that our boy? Oh, roots radiate out. That's a good way to think. Well, that's what I was thinking of. Well, wheel, I was thinking of radials. But now if I'm thinking of roots radiating out, I'm going to think of wheel radials the same too. <laughs> uh, pli da, well, pli ol is like more than. I know, some is what, io. I don't think I've done pli. I don't think I've seen pli da yet. More of, yeah, pli is is pli is directly more right. Uh, Mishatas, Rujoin, Kaiflavain, Polioin, I like Shatas, Mishatas. I like red and yellow foliage, leaves. I like red and yellow leaves. Uh, a lot of or many would be multaya or multaya. Nick bestoy. Neither animals. So remember, this is kind of like beasts, animals. Nick bestoy, nick plantoy. Neither plants or neither animals nor plants. Povas vivis and aquvo. Um, can live without water. Yes, neither animals nor plants can live without water. Qui estas la radicoi de tiu planto? Kia estas? Kia estas la radicoi de tiu planto? Kia estas la radicoi de tiu planto? Um, that is, I've got to get better about the, the kiu, kium, you know, the, the where, what, when. Um, where is the root of this plant or that plant? Or the roots, not where is the root. This is multiple roots because we have a J. Remember the J is always like an S. Where are the roots of that plant? La tero ne bon gustas. La tero, the earth, ne bon gustas. The earth does not taste good. All right. Why we grow things in it and eat that instead? Bone. Two thirds of the way done with. Estas el plasto. Objects, yeah. Chutio poto. Um, that pot is plastic. Oh, I knew it would be plastic, plasto or plaster, but plastic. Uh, chutio poto. Chutio poto estas el plasto. Chutio poto estas el plasto. Is that pot plastic? 
or made of plastic. So you're talking, I'm watching you guys talk about, um, is it blue? So is that, does that only indicate, um, blue is quantity and blue is time? So would blue just be, would blue be more like after the fact? Like, is it always going to be like no longer? It's past. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Man, a lot of words I haven't seen in this, but even the sentence seems pretty obvious. Hmm. Okay. Pizza. We saw this before when we were talking about pizza, right? Because we were talking about a piece of pizza would be a pick on the pizza, right? I prefer a smaller piece of cake. I prefer this set. This is more, right? So, and then mala is not, not grand. So not big, small. La cato ludas per la fadeno. Hmm. Yeah. So I feel I'm just trying to get the Oh, one is a picho is word is rude in Esperanto or in in a different language. <laughs> Is it indicative of a body part? <laughs> Would you be calling somebody <laughs> the, the the lady garden the um I was, I was gonna say plantino <laughs> Huh La cato ludas per la fadeno. Uh, the cat plays. Putter using la thread. Oh, with the thread. Cat plays with the thread. Wait, pi picho is pit or pitch? Like when you're singing? Do we have a paper on for me? <laughs> Be careful throwing around, throwing around terms like PIV when you're talking about <laughs> when you're talking about what we're talking about. <laughs> this stream, man. I don't know if it's a. Uh... I had. I'm gonna have to take the family friendly tag off. <laughs> Uh, do you have papers for me? Paperon? No, do you have a piece of paper? Because papers would have a J. Mi bezonas ni gran fadenon. Mi bezonas ni gran fadenon. Uh, I need mi bezonas ni gran uh, that was black, right? Black thread. La poto estas mal grande. Pot is small. La telero estas el papero. I was gonna say it's um, it's an O'Keefe. <laughs> it's a Giorgio O'Keefe. <laughs> 
Uh, la teleroi. La teleroi estas el papero. La teleroi estas el papero. So the plates are made of paper? Or are paper? <laughs> I would not want to accidentally say I was eating pizza and then be wrong <laughs> then say they're rock work. <laughs> That's a different conversation entirely. <laughs> uh, the plant is growing in a plastic pot. Oh no, I forgot. I was just clicking through the word bank. That's that's me being dumb. Uh, God, this is so quiet. There we go. Estas mal grande pico? Pico? Is it like a peso? Estas mal grande pico de plasto en mi acafo? Um. There's a small piece of plastic in my coffee? Ugh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Boy parts. Uh, oh, wow, those I bet get mixed up a lot too. Mi preferas grisan fadenon. I prefer gray thread. Okay. Plates of made of paper. La teleroi estas el papero. Tu venas per auto? Do you... Wait, are you coming by car? I must did by car like achet achetas? Acheti. Uh, chuvi volas grandan pecon de pano. Pe pecon de pano kun fromajo. Do you want a big piece of bread with cheese? Yes, I absolutely do. Yeah, I'm gonna just, we're just gonna have to mute Creed. <laughs> He's getting too crazy. <laughs> Did you offend yourself? <laughs> uh, in the summer, in Somero, mi preferas malongain, short, malongain, not long, many coin. Uh, sleeves. In summer, I prefer short sleeves. In somero, mi preferas, mi preferas my malongoin manico, manicoin. Oh, it's, I, you acknowledge that you were to blame? Yeah, my, uh, Google Auto Translator says otherwise. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it is. I've, I've heard it in passing. Uh, the plant is growing in a plastic pot. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it like, doesn't it, does that just mean like I'm culpable, like I'm... My bad. Spoons, coleroi. Culeroi estas pli belai ol forcoi. Culeroi estas pli belai ol forcoi. Spoons are more beautiful than forks, 
I don't know. I love a good stabbing. Kiu collectas antiqua in telefonoin? Kiu collectas? All right, well, that's easy enough. Kiu collectas antique wine. Kiu collectas antiqua in telefonoin? Kiu collectas antique wine telefonoin? Who collects antique telephones? <laughs> Everyone loves a, a, a good stabbing now and then. <laughs> a good shanking, if you will. Uh, <laughs> uh, we bezonas, we need... I always think... You're going to laugh at this. Uh, I always think of Jeff Bezos. And then I think about how people are always like, oh, I need to order from Amazon. <laughs> and that's how I remember need. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we Jeff Bezos. Uh, <laughs> we bezonas. Uh, bovloin? Ni bezonas bovloin kai kuleroin por la supo. Ni bezonas bovloin kai kuleroin por la supo. Um, we need bowls. Kai spoons. Por la supo. Yeah, that's true. The... If you can do songs, if you can do um, rhymes, tricks, if you can see root words, if that's why like the more languages you speak, the easier it is to learn other languages, right? Because you you're gonna recognize other roots. Botello. Ni ne havas paton. Ni ne havas paton. Uh, paton. Oh, a pan. Okay. I, or we, do not have a pan. <laughs> Ad, advo, advo, voc, aton? Advocation? Does he need good representation? Lawyer? Attorney? Estas nur aquo en la botello. There is no water in the bottle. Is... Oh, there's only water. I was thinking nur as in like not, but that was only. La supo en la bovlo estas bon gusta. Oh, I didn't know he was getting a divorce. I live, I live in Seattle, like right in the smack dab Amazonia, and and I was like, oh, <laughs> he goes to show how much attention I'm paying to the world, huh? La supo en la bovlo. La supo en la bovlo estas bon gusta. La supo en la bovlo esas bon gusta. The soup in the bowl is delicious. You worked for Amazon a couple years ago. Forcoin. I guess I I guess I work for Amazon now that I'm a Twitch affiliate. <laughs> or Amazon works for me. I don't know. Nina havas multain forcoin. We don't have many forks. Multain forcoin. It can be, uh, it can be pretty chaos. Up here, the, the big three are like, everybody works for Amazon, for Microsoft, or like T-Mobile, pretty much. So, uh, But definitely Amazon and Microsoft are like the, the huge employers up here of all, all levels. Not just like, because, you know, sometimes it's like they just have the warehouses and they, they do a lot, but we have headquarters up here, too. Liku iras jin en pato. He cooks jin. He cooks it in a pan. Oh, this is gonna be great! I'm really excited to learn all of these like cooking and food and object terms because now I'll be able to use them around. Uh, Tio estas antiqua objecto. There are a lot of there are a lot of Microsoft technicians. A lot of them have come from. Um, a lot of them have been uh, gotten like. Um, what do they call that? Like relocation packages um, and stuff to come overseas. But I actually 
I like living in an area where there's this much diversity and all these different cultures and races and foods and languages and religions. I like it. I like being in the melting pots. Tio estas antikva objekto. That is an antique object. Objecto. Tio estas antikva objekto. Antikva objecto. That spoon is too small. Uh, tiu culero estas tro mal grande. I don't think I've ever seen tro. New York is a good one, yeah. I'm a, I'm originally from Southern California, so I'm no stranger to uh, being surrounded by lots of different um, nationalities. Because while well, living in Southern California and then living in Seattle now, uh, you know, they're all major port cities on the coasts. And then having lived over in, like, Alaska with the Inuit and uh, Native American populations up there and then living over in Japan. Mi usas nur uno paton. Mi usas nur uno paton. I use... Only one. Oops, I only use one pan. There we go. Well, that's good, if you, especially if you have to hand wash it. <laughs> uh, who collects antique telephones? Q collectas? Uh, antique vine? Antique vine? Telefono? Man, pretty good, huh? Look at that. Killing it. We still have about a half hour left. Uh, I thought we would only get maybe this far, so I think we're actually doing pretty good. Um, I did not look at the tips and tricks for this objects, though. So we looked at purr, which was like to do something with something else. Now here, piece can be used with da or de. Da is quantity. De is quality. So, da, because da means of, right? So you're just kind of saying like how much of or how big of a piece? Have you been, uh, uh, Sen Esperula, you've been speaking Esperanto for what, 10 plus years? Is that correct? Oh, my stomach is still feeling so bad. Oops. La lampo estas super la tablo. Yeah, we've, we've used per before. I actually, I went through the objects and then I just forgot to look at the lesson, so I wanted to, to peek at it afterwards. So, prepositions, the most literal sense of a preposition is the correct word. So, no, uh, thus one rides in a train, not on a train. Okay. So, and how? I actually saw this on Twitter for the first time, because, um, Creed, you, uh, you were tweeting the, the girl who does the Portuguese Duolingo back and forth, and she used an Antau earlier today, and so I had to look it up. <laughs> um, contrao. So you have Antau and Contrao. So this is before or in front of, and this is against or at the, at the cost of. Gla glasso de vino. Glass containing wine. Glasso da vino. is a glass... So, oh, okay. So I would order a glasso da vino, not a glasso di vino, right? Because I would want a glass, like, of filled wine. I thought, I thought you had started before that. Maybe I'm thinking of Creed. Creed's done it for a long time. You love chi? Do you focus your chi? Uh, versatile word meaning at. 
So, like, somebody's home, sitting at the table, they live in my house. Okay. Directional N. Oh. We haven't seen this before. So, she jumps up and down on the table. She jumps on the table. She jumps on the tableau. So, this is like she is jumping on the table. And this is more like she jumps on the table from somewhere else. But that makes sense because you're using... The chi person for meeting at a person's house. Like, uh... Because doesn't that... Well, it also... It kind of means, like, with me, right? They live at me. Like, she, yeah... Oh, okay. So, uh... We're all hanging out in Shea Bruhilda right now in the <laughs> in the Bruhilda house. <laughs> uh, pro versus por. This is for something. This is because of something. So, well, that's pretty easy to remember, right? For is for, and pro is because of, like pro bono, like you're because or on account of. You're representing them, I guess. So, D is for substance, and DAW is for quantity. Like a cup of coffee would be D, but a recipe would call for, well, because a recipe is calling, a recipe calling for a cup of flour is a definite, um, defined, or a defined amount, yeah. What do you like about the prepositional in Spanish and Portuguese more? Is it in a different, does it come somewhere else in the sentence or is it just easier to understand? This is gonna be a long one. I can see like this directional N is gonna be a huge thing. This is gonna be a big thing. This is gonna come up a lot. Now we're changing Chrome. So, this says it can mean except for or in addition to. So, but if I was reading this, I like everything except spiders. Wouldn't it also mean I like everything in addition to spiders? When you use N, it means into at yeah apart from oh that makes sense because then it'd be like I like everything apart from spiders apart from spiders I also love bees yeah that makes sense separately maybe well, I don't know. It's just like these are these are such opposites, you know. Uh, manco di, a lack of something. But it's not a quantity. Oh, really? So it's always manco di and never manco da. Well, I get that because you're using day as kind of like a lack of money isn't like saying I lack five dollars, right? You've seen it as besides separately anyway. What is a, or what is it, what is chrome in Slavic? Is it the same? Is it just mean the same thing that, like, uh, apart from?
Uh, versi means to pour a liquid. Well, suti means to pour our non-liquid. Okay. So pouring liquid, pouring solids. And then we have tarot, which we saw tarot before. So it's weird that it's coming up in this and not in the previous. Same use. Yeah, we kind of use, we kind of use it interchangeably, but they are, I mean, they're kind of different, right? I think apart from is a good explanation too. So I sit at the table instead of, or I'm sitting at the table instead of, I'm sitting on the table, I'm sitting in the table. Iliflujas super, super. Is it super or is it just gonna be super? Super la tegmentoi? Tegmentoi, roofs. He flies above the roofs. Or they fly, sorry. Superman, huh? Kiom da sejoy vi havas heime? Kiom da sejoy. Kiom da sejoy vi havas heime? Kiom da sejoy? No. Kiom da sejoy vi havas heime? Kiom da sejoy vi havas heime? Kiom da sejoy vi havas heime? Heime. Heime. Sejoy vi havas heime. Uh, how many chairs do you have at home? So pair. Not Sue. So like like a dragged out so. Like a soon. Sue pair. Dejo. La tegmento estas bruna. So it means homely, huh? So, is it kind of like, so in English you have, your house is a domo, and then you have, like, you have your house, and then you have your home. And in French there's house, but there's no word for home, right? But in Esperanto maybe there is? Oh, I don't think I've seen that. Uh, mateno means morning, right? But matene means in the morning? I haven't seen that. Like two? Two? Two pair? Like. Like two pair? Matene is morningly. Hmm. Ugh, I love these these word modifiers. Just vocab, learn all the roots, and then the modifiers, <laughs> and then and then you're good. And then you can just make up words from there. Uh, la, tagmento? la tagmento estas bruna. La tagmento estas bruna. The roof is brown. La tablo. I have as far sequin the table has four chairs I thought the emphasis was always on the oh it's on the second to last syllable so in a two syllable word the emphasis is on the first so sue pair you pair Super, super. Lisiras. Sir Sego. 
show she's sitting on a chair or he's sitting on a chair but if I said Lisidas sir Segon, Segon that would mean he is sitting on a chair from somewhere else, like maybe he was standing and then he sat down. Whereas this sentence implies that he's just like chilling there, sitting on the chair. Mi estas heime. Mi estas heime? I'm home. Estas homo ce la pordo. Estas homo ce la pordo. Estas homo ce la pordo. At the door. There's a person at the door. Okay, so add it so adding the N is more is like you're changing it from it being passive, like he's just sitting there on the chair, to making it an action that he's doing. Like he is sitting down, not he is just sitting there. Um, I think in the example for the lesson they used, uh, she is jumping on a table, like up and down, versus she is jumping on a table from maybe another location using the N. And that make, this makes sense now seeing it in, uh, in use. At first I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Those are the same thing. <laughs> uh, is the roof above that room? Chula tagmento estas super chu chambro? The end shows, yeah, direction or motion towards. It's like it makes it it makes it an active motion instead of a passive motion. Wait, he is there. Are people at the door with with what? Oh, I see. I had to look at the, I was looking at, I have this auto translate thing and I was like lip hair, but I get it. I got you. <laughs> Tell him I already have one. <laughs> I saw that recently. Um, I was watching, uh, I think Steven Universe and uh, they referenced that. And uh, it's funny that it comes up now because I saw it just a couple of days ago. A lip hair collection. <laughs> bon venon, chini. So, bon venon is welcome. So, is that like welcome at you? Welcome. Oh, I see what you mean. So, chini is like, yeah, it's like sh like Shea Bruhilda or. Uh, Mikasa or okay at w welcome at me ni estas heime en ni adomo ni estas heime en ni adomo uh, we are home in our house Ni al mapo esta sur la tablo. Um, our map is on the table. <laughs> is it is it the cat that's on the table? The cat the cat's on the table, the monkey's in the tree. The mouse is under the table? I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while since I saw that stand up. Uh, chula tagmento estas super chutambro, chucham, super tio chambro. Yeah, that's definitely a, a French root for sure. Um, is the roof above that room? 
Nice. Uh, in the kitchen. Cuireo? 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 Pachio? Metas? Sukeron? And Tasson. Ooh, I haven't used a lot of these words in a long time. Um, so in the kitchen, that's dad, right? Dad is putting sugar in tea. Or into a cup. That wasn't tea. Tea on us. Tea. Query is to cook. Query. Yeah, well, query. Query. <laughs> I have to remember it's yo at the end. Query. La hundoi attendas exter la domo. La hundoi attendas exter. La hundoi attendas exter la domo. Exter la domo, so the exterior outside. The dogs are waiting outside of the house. Sofia versas teon en la tason. Versas. So this is pouring liquid, right? Versas. Sofia versas teon en la tason. Pouring tea into the cup. Tion en la tazón. Puireo. 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 <laughs> it's the office AO all over again. <laughs> it's come back for it. It's come back for more. It's come back for blood. Uh, la cato pras rapide. The cat, this is, runs. Runs fast and saltas and jumps, somersaults. And jumps onto the bird. Poor bird. Bore, ah! Thank God. <laughs> my, uh, I went through last week and I cut down a bunch of my post-it notes, so now I only have two. <laughs> I finally got rid of a, I had a little Senesperulo one that was all, uh, pronunciation notes, and I had a little J. Creed one. <laughs> Ooh, Real. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Uh, Chuvi Iras. Are we going in Xi'an in her bedroom? So, dorm room, really, right? Dorm room? Bedroom? Um, are you going into her bedroom? Oh! What's going on in there? How old are those people? <laughs> uh, the cat runs fast and jumps onto the bird. Legato curas rapide. Hi, saltas, saltas, sur la berda, berda, berda. Chubiv povas, vershi, kafon, and mion tason. Um, so, can you pour coffee? Into my cup. Mi meta sedloin en la cuirayon. You think you're about 60 seconds behind? I hear that the mobile is more behind than anything else, but I don't know if it's true. But I have a. I have everything set to fast mode right now. And even then, um, like Sheriff Mongo says, sometimes he'll be like, he'll see it come up, you know 
only a second or so after he says something, and sometimes it'll take a minute before he says, before, like, it'll pop up on the chat, and then it doesn't, I don't know. I'm still playing with it. Hey, Rogue, what's up, man? Nice to see you. Did you come to, come to learn some Esperanto in, in between division rounds? <laughs> Mi metas sedloin en la cuireion. Uh, I'm putting chairs in the kitchen. Into the kitchen. In and into are different. Dude, it's going. It's actually not too bad. It's been so warm all winter long. Like, we usually have some snow and stuff by now, but nope. We barely had any rain. I live in Seattle and it's barely raining. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, the weather's all fucked, <laughs> all fucked up now. <laughs> How are you doing today? What are you up to this weekend? Uh, do you want to pour milk into the tea? Uh, chuvi volas, do you want uh, to pour milk into the tea? You're in Vancouver? Oh, so you're a little, you're north of me anyways. Right? Or are you are you in Vancouver, Washington, or Vancouver, Canada? <laughs> uh, exter, uh, exterior, um, out, exterior near Domo, outside of our house, are multi otter boy many trees. South. Ni cuiras en la cuireo. Hey, Captain, what's up? <laughs> nice to see you too. Ni cuiras en la cuireo. Ni cuiras in... Okay, I'm cooking in the kitchen. We are cooking in the kitchen. Or we cook in the kitchen. Uh, patio? Ya vi saltas en la cuireo? Cuireo? So, Dad... Uh, why are you jumping in the kitchen? Oh, okay. Why is my father jumping in the kitchen? <laughs> uh, kiom is when. Kiom vitrovas, when I find. Kiom vitrovas vien calxonon. Oh, calxonon. I have you not pre-ordered it yet? I haven't pre-ordered it yet either. I know I need to. Um, but I I always wait. <laughs> I just, uh, our, um, so if you're on Facebook and you play The Division, there's a Facebook group called the Division Communication Center. Um, that's got like 8,000 people or so that um, I and a couple of my friends run. And uh, so when you're looking for people to play with and stuff, join that group and you'll be, you'll have all kinds of people to play with. Yeah, it's not on Steam. I heard it's only going to be on, um, what, Epic and you play? Um, when I find your underwear, when I find your underwear in the kitchen, Jesus Christ, uh, I put it in your bedroom. Who's finding underwear in the kitchen and why? I know, right? Shit, Duolingo says. When I find your underwear in the kitchen. The group is called uh, the Division Communication Center. It'll actually be... It'll be this guy. It'll look like this. Ta <laughs> It's pretty hard to mistake. I mean, it's a big, big division group. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm gonna, 
we were talking about it recently about how you get like early access three days I think if you get the gold edition so I think I'm gonna have to pre-order the gold just so I can get in there early uh, do you want to pour milk uh, do you want chivivolas um, to oops to pour milk into the tea lacton and latino ili parolas extermia chambro ili parolas they are talking outside my chamber um so they speak they speak they are talking i yeah if i wasn't a stay-at-home mom i would definitely take time off myself <laughs> Uh, outside of my room. See, I keep thinking of this as exterior, but now, like, it's not out, they're not talking, like, out, well, I guess they could be talking outside, or they could be talking, like, in the hallway outside of the room, yeah? Man, halfway through home isn't too bad. We got through, what, we did half of this, all of objects, half of home, is that correct? Which isn't too bad. I feel like uh, it's definitely taking more and more time now to get through these than it used to, um, especially as my my vocabulary grows. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think uh, I think we're actually going to call it today. I think that's a pretty good stopping point because I would like to next week maybe try and do all three of these, and then I wonder if I can get on like every week trying to get one row at least out of here um and then i might do i might do a, a beginner stream again because i feel like some people are are joining and we're so far down the the tree that they aren't uh they don't know some of the intro stuff so by all means get duolingo add me as a friend i'm i'm brujilda um and uh, we'll, we'll race through the, <laughs> we'll race through it. Um, thank you to all of you for uh, coming today. And I'm actually going to send you to a friend of mine um, who is streaming. And uh, I always try to send you to people who don't have a lot of followers because I know how hard it is to try and get those those first couple and uh, when you only have you know five or six viewers you're not very high up on like just chatting you know so um, so thank you everybody and uh, we'll see you next week I will be here from 10 a.m. to noon Pacific Standard Time or what is it 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, Universal Standard Time is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I feel like I say it every week and I still have to think about it. But uh, have a good one and we'll see you later. Gisela Revito, make sure you follow me for uh, hopefully we'll get some division in this week and follow so that you can see more Esperanto in the future as well. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend.